Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we're doing another uh, installment of Power of the Force Memories, where we take a look at the Star Wars toy line from the 1990s. And we got a couple exciting action figures to talk about today. We have the uh, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker over here, and then we have Han Solo Frozen and Carbonite. And uh, this is the first release of uh, Han and Carbonite, and you can tell because it says Han Solo in Carbonite with uh, Carbonite Freezing Chamber. They would later... Uh, change this to just Han Solo in Carbonite block because there is no freezing chamber. It's really just the the block that comes with Han Solo. But uh, I always thought this this figure was quite nice. And this was uh, released more or less in conjunction with the uh, Shadows of the Empire figures because you can see here those are all pictured here and along with uh, Dash Rendar's Outrider which was also a, a featured vehicle of that particular series. So, technically speaking, this is sort of considered part of that assortment, even though it has the regular orange card Power of the Force logo on it and does not say Shadows of the Empire. So, same goes for Luke Skywalker. He's kind of considered a part of that series as well. Uh, however, uh, this is the later issue green card. So, there was an earlier issue of this figure that came with the orange card. I don't have that in my collection. I just have the green card version. Uh, but these are both really nice because they both still feature the full write-up. Um, as you can see, this has all the information about Luke Skywalker as it pertains to him being a Jedi Knight. Pictures of some of the other uh, figures that were issued on green cards. And Luke's T-16 Skyhopper and the Snowspeeder featured there. Also lists other figures. And you can see the date, 1997. So you can tell it's a later release because... All the uh, earlier issue ones, they either say, you know, 95 or 96 on them. So you can see, like, the date on this one, 96. So uh, I'm going to show you what these look like out of the package, too. Um, so here's here's the uh, carbonite block. And you can see uh, there's a way to hook uh, the Han Solo figure into the back of the carbonite block, too. You just sort of clip him in there, like so. And so that way he can be inside of the carbonite block and so that's kind of a cool feature of this um just kind of a standard figure uh nothing too spectacular in that particular version of han solo but i do kind of like the the likeness it, it sort of resembles harrison ford a little bit so that's not too bad and then i'll show you what luke skywalker looks like again uh these figures are a little too buff uh, the muscular nature of uh, these early figures uh it makes them look a little weird, but uh, they would tone this down in later uh, releases of of uh, Han and Luke. Uh, basically, they they got rid of some of the muscles and made a much more reasonable um, facsimile of what their appearance really looks like. But really like having uh, a Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. And it should be noted there's a couple different variations on this too. Uh, the early issue, uh, there's one with a brown vest where it's actually painted brown. And this is the more common version, which is a black vest. That's pretty much all I have for you today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you uh, really enjoyed this video um, and you want to see more installments of Power of the Force Memories, think about subscribing because I will be doing a lot more videos which cover the figures and the vehicles from uh, this particular series of toys. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day and may the Force be with you. Thanks for watching.